Good morning, my friends, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sofia Yoriado, and I'm more than glad to present you the delegation of the Drama International Short Term Festival that attends uh, the virtual uh, market of the Clermont Ferrand Film Festival. As far as you know, probably, uh, we have already 43 years of history. And uh, this year, we are um, the, the same delegation with ECOME. You can find us at ECOME Drama ISFF. -S. And uh, we, we present in the market 14 Greek awarded films during our last edition. Uh, first of all, I will present you the artistic director of the Festival in Drama, Yanis Sakaridis. Um, the programmer, the head programmer of the international competition, Mr. Yorgo Sois. Uh, Thanasis Neofokistos, who is the head programmer of the international student competition. And Barbara Dukas, I'm not so sure that we can see her now, Barbara who is the head programmer of the educational program of drama. And of course, Mrs. Evana Bernardo, uh, the head of the press office of the Festival in Drama. Uh, they will present our programs and you are invite, invited to uh, ask questions about what we are doing this year. Dear Sophia, dear friends, we are. Uh, I am also very delighted to be here, thrilled to present um, Drama F F Film Festival uh, in our, to our audience. And I would like to ask our uh, artistic director uh, about the new era of the festival, because it's been um, some months now, almost a year, but uh, he has undertaken the, uh, the festival. I think... Uh, I don't know if you can see me anyway. Um, I would like to ask Mr. Sakaridis about the new era of the festival. What was his experience during the first uh, uh, organization um, where he presented his uh, dreams, his new thesis about the festival? And what are his plans about the next year's festival? Okay, uh, hello everybody. Um, Yes, I, I became an artistic director uh, back in May during a lockdown. We have a second lockdown now for three months in Greece. Um, it was um, at least a very interesting time uh, trying to organize a, a festival which was uh, hybrid and, uh, and also uh, on a daily basis uh, things were changing. Um, we managed to do um, um, a festival which uh, it did happen uh, in uh, four different uh, locations, open air, driving, class two, close uh, cinemas. And also uh, because we were preparing for online, uh, we worked uh, our platform, which was very successful in, uh, in terms of uh, statistics and numbers. We had uh, thousands of young uh, Greeks who uh, plunged into our um, platform and uh, watched uh, more, more than uh, 70,000 uh, screenings we had. So um, uh, we um, so we tried and improvised a lot because of the uh, pandemic. And also we tried and improvised um, uh, things that uh, none of the other years would happen. Um, so this year uh, we, we welcome uh, the head programmers in the, uh, in the brand new student uh, international uh, festival, Neofotistos, uh, Anas um, Neofotistos, who is uh, who ran for the first time uh, the student um, competition, and uh, I go to the new year uh, welcoming uh, also uh, our new uh, head programmer in the international competition, Yorgo Joyce, who um, both with uh, Neofotistos are excellent uh, filmmakers. 
Um, for the last uh, 10, 12 years, they've been producing films that uh, were uh, in all international festivals in Europe and in the world. And uh, they will give us um, their experience and their uh, brilliant minds to uh, the selection and also to help uh, shape the new philosophy of, uh, of our festival. So for the next year's festival, what are your specific plans? Well, next year it will be, I think it will be the same, just improvising more uh, in terms of the pandemic. Uh, we will go hybrid and uh, um, obviously we will have a, a new um, competition, which is the animation. We believe a lot. Uh, we will work uh, together with Anima Siros and uh, we will have a, a new um, uh, program. Uh, we will carry on with Cinema Therapy, which was a really good uh, program that happened last year with Pavel Pavlikovsky. And uh, obviously we will uh, shape in the next few months uh, all the ideas that uh, Yorgos Tanas will bring to the table. Great. Um, in short, if we wanted to explain our viewers what differentiates, differentiates our festival in Balkans from other festivals and wh why should somebody um, send his film in our festival, what will you say? Well, um, we, we're going into the 44th year. Um, so we try to keep the huge tradition and uh, experience and um, uh, reputation. And also uh, we, we are part of uh, an excellent uh, community of uh, uh, filmmakers who produce short films every year. And uh, as you may know, uh, as we all know that uh, Greek short films of the last uh, 10 years, they've been uh, in uh, all uh, big top festivals. And uh, so uh, if, you, if you bring the film in our festival, you, um, you can uh, watch our brilliant national competition, which is very close to uh, any international competition. Uh, and... Um, we, uh, you will feel uh, uh, the brilliant uh, um, hospitality and, and also uh, for sure it's, it's going to be a, a very strong um, um, line of films uh, from around the world uh, with, uh, uh, you know, uh, lots of people watching it. So um, I guess... Um, I will give uh, up the pass to Yorgo Joyce to tell us more about his, uh, his plans. Yorgo, you are our new newcomer. We are really are very happy and thrilled to have you in our team. Uh, you are an acclaimed director. Um, you have a huge experience also in the short film. Drama was the festival that uh, you made your start and you had, uh, you had won amazing awards. And we would like you to tell us, how do you feel with this um, new position you have? You come back to this festival with another, you know, um, in another post. Um, uh, good morning from me also. Um, and first of all, for me, it's a great honor and happy. I'm very happy to come back after 10 years in Drama Film Festival and with this position also. Um, may, many people don't know it, but uh, I think we were a movement of uh, back then short film directors that because of the previous administration, we didn't want to send our films. And now with the new era and with the new administration, I think everything has changed. And uh, we're very happy to show our films and the previous films that we had. And also, personally, I'm very honored and, uh, to be the head of the international competition program. And uh, it's something that uh, I always like because of my experience in short films. I always liked very much festivals and getting to know foreign directors. 
I think this, first of all, it's a matter of education. I think uh, my education in films, and especially in short films, uh, happened because I was traveling to many film festivals. So what I would really like to do is that uh, to make the international competition in drama a very prestigious selection that all the foreign filmmakers would want to be into this um, a competition. We also have many good awards and the European Film Academy nomination, which is a great thing for an award for a director to win. And my dream would be really to blend the Greek directors and meet and exchange ideas and possibly make fruitful collaborations with all the foreign directors that we will invite in drama. So for me, first of all, it's to make really a prestigious selection, to have a special character, this, uh, this competition, to get to be known in, in Europe. And uh, all the directors should, uh, you know, I, I really want to change the view of the directors, especially in abroad, to consider it like a very prestigious and uh, fruitful and welcoming festival. So I think, uh, yes, in this new era with the new team that we have, I think that we, we are going to make it. It is definitely a big challenge. We are very, um, we're looking forward to your contribution to this. Um, will there be a change? I mean, up to now, there used to be, um, Sofia, tell me if I'm wrong, three or four participants from Greece. They were, they were able to, um, you know, to compete to in, in the international section. Now this will change or that will always depend on the film's level every year? Do, do you, you uh, always, uh, consider that this will change? Uh, this is a question of the head programmers of the mm -hmm. Greek competition and the international one. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not a, a law. Mm -hmm. um, in the past years, two or three films, Greek films, were the international one. Last year, I think we had six Yanis. So yes, we had it, six films. We, we yeah, could have more. more. But, um, so it, de it depends on each year harvest. Mm -hmm. uh, I see. Uh, I see. Okay, let's go to Thanasis. Thanasi, you made the difference last year. It was really um, amazing what you did with uh, bringing us uh, student films who, who were really remarkable. Tell us about your experience and how do you, as well as Yorgos, uh, an acclaimed director in short film, uh, preparing now his new, uh, his first feature. How does, how does he, how does you see um, this role and uh, the student section of our festival? Uh, <clears throat> first of all, I, I, I'm so happy that Yanis uh, invited me last year uh, to be part of the team uh, and Sofia, of course. And it was uh, an experience that uh, I loved it. That's why I'm here as well this year. And uh, I don't know if me and the drama want me the next year. I, I, I hope uh, it will continue this uh, collaboration. Uh, for me, I came when uh, I really loved the idea of a student uh, competition because uh, in students I can see I want to be inspired and, and students' short films sometimes have uh, something unique, something fresh and uh, seeing uh, the last year short films in drama, there were like uh, seven, uh, 700 short films uh, in, 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 uh, submitted. Uh, I, I tried to understand the new wave of, uh, of storytelling, uh, the stories and uh, direction styles from different countries. For, and for me, it was a great experience that I want to continue experiencing. Um, and I also, I would, I would love to transfer one of my experiences to students right now because I won in the drama back in uh, 2014. I won the the Golden Dionysus Award w with a student film. So I would love someone to uh, guide me through the international world, which I, I didn't know any, any I, uh, as a Greek film director, I only knew uh, the drama and then there was no uh, student international competition. So now maybe a student from Greece or from any, any other country can uh, understand how the international a uh, festival secret uh, works. And uh, that's my goal actually, to, to help students, to, in to be inspired by student films 
And uh, of course, we have a great team, and uh, I welcome also Yorgos to the team. And uh, the drama week, which uh, hopefully this year well is going to be physical as last year, it's one experience that uh, it's a love of my life drama during the festival. Great, thank you, thank you, Hanasis. Barbara, hi. Hello. And hi. Tell us about um, your uh, precious contribution and the pitching um, uh, lab and the general educational uh, um, part of the festival. Yes, the, hello, everyone. Um, the edu educational part was uh, established in 2009. And in, in 2014, after a suggestion of uh, Sofia, we created the Pitching Lab and Forum, uh, which uh, became uh, the most successful platform in the educational uh, session of uh, the festival. So this was uh, the last year was uh, our first digital edition because uh, of the uh, pandemic. And uh, we are running now, we finished the seven years of, of Pitching Lab and uh, where uh, young film, filmmakers and producers from all over the world can participate in training sessions for three or four days and learn how to present the five minute pitch at the, the end of the week uh, in a pitching forum. So uh, after seven years, we, we received uh, uh, over than uh, 700 plans, projects, and uh, uh, ideas for uh, short films. And um, for, uh, we have also the prize from Finnish Film and the Greek Film Center in the late years or so from... Uh, um, uh, author wave that uh, provides uh, post-production facilities to uh, young filmmakers to, 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 uh, to one project. So uh, after all these years, we managed to have uh, over 18 um, short films that they started from our pitching lab and forum already uh, in uh, other festivals, they are traveling all over the world, and we're very proud of that because uh, everyone knows how difficult it is to to do a short film that uh, will go and uh, and travel in festivals and get prizes and find a way to the audience. That's biggest dream of was, filmmakers the fact that this year um, the last year of uh, our festival the, the pitching was online uh, was liberating or it was uh, or so, it was restricted for you it was the bad and the good of pandemia so mm -hmm. uh, hopefully cinema is digital <laughs> so we are um, familiar with uh, tools like Zoom, like uh, uh, provide some uh, audiovisual uh, material for uh, uh, support our idea, to present our uh, qu uh, qualities of uh, our project, etc. Uh, the good uh, news are that uh, produ uh, producers uh, from all over the world, that it was difficult to be present in a drama uh, mid-September, we're able to participate uh, in our platform. So on, um, in the matter of uh, publicity and participants uh, in our forum, it was very, very, very fruitful experience. Um, but nothing can replace the physical presence of uh, people uh, uh, because uh, we are very familiar for to be there in uh, drama with 10 or 15 young filmmakers to do rehearsals how to present themselves in uh, in the forum to have time to mingle together that is uh, the dream of every festival 
to be part of uh, their project, do rehearsals, to do to give some uh, advices that from the camera, it's not so easy to do. I see. Um, Yorgo and Thanasi, could you tell us um, if there is, you have noticed that there is a change in thematology, um, in aesthetics, in terms of the films, of short films coming from abroad the last years? Do you, have you experienced, have you noticed a difference in the thematology in comparison to the past, um, today, in today's production of films? and you would like to capture this with your choices as heads, uh, as, as head of these programs? Um, <clears throat> look, I, I'm, I'm sure that I'm going to tell you more when I see this year's election. So mm -hmm. I will be able to tell you more next year about this question. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. uh, for me, the point is not, uh, I mean, every 10 years or, you know, I mean, the thematology changes in a way. There are some more hot issues that, as a, a filmmakers want to, to, because history changes, accelerates, you know, but, but for me, the point is not to capture uh, the new hot modern issues. I mean, for me, the point is um, to give a special character to the selection, really to choose good films. I don't care if it's uh, realistic films, conceptual films. I don't care if they talk about gender, social class, uh, you know, struggle, um, political or just uh, poetic or avant-garde. Uh, we just care to have a very great selection that other filmmakers can come. And even if it's not their personal taste, uh, they can say, look, this is a great film, even if it's not my taste. And I think that, uh, with my team, that is a new team of uh, eight great uh, young cinephiles from Athens, that they're very, um, let's say, active in writing, uh, shooting, making things. Uh, I think we, this is what we want to do, really, uh, dismiss our personal taste and make a great selection, no matter the genre, the characteristics, the themes, no matter what fashion, uh, what, what is the current fashion, if there is a current fashion. So for me, really, um, the target is to bring all these um, wonderful, I think, uh, film, fest film directors, blend them with the Greek directors and make a very fruitful collaboration uh, together. Very interesting. And what about the youth analysis? Did you, did you think, um, watching last year's production, that there is a change in the view of directors, of young directors, of the, of the kids that come out of the schools? Um, you have the experience, you have seen all these years what goes on. Did you, did you notice something in particular? There is, a, there is a cinematic voice that maybe you can say that... Uh, you can find some similarities in it. Um, I mean, for sure, there are stories that they are timeless, but I expect, uh, for example, this next year, as we had some last year, to have more, more stories about COVID and isolation and uh, the situation that we are going through right now. In terms of aesthetics, besides the photography, uh, um, is there a tendency which is uh, dominant, perhaps, or not? I, 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 I would not say that there is something specific. Uh, and that's why in uh, the competition last year, I tried v to have uh, very unique voices uh, with different styles and different designers. And um, in order to have this multi-culture thing, um, I haven't seen something very specific to, to say. Yanis, mm -hmm. um, could you tell us um, um, how do you see the next day of the festival? Um, and how do you see the short film in general? For example, in, Gre in Greece, I, I suppose in other countries too, short films cannot get distribution. I think that the help of the festival has, has been um, useful to that. Um, perhaps you should say that um, very recently, um, with the collaboration of uh, Drama Film Festival, there were films and there are films showing projecting in the um, TV channel of uh, the Greek Parliament. Um, so there is a help on the part of the festival towards this direction. Yes, um, first of all, I'd like to say that um, um, 
for me, there's no uh, much difference between the um, uh, the quality and the uh, the level of a student and international competition. I mean, it is they are overlapping, and uh, as we saw in uh, European Film Awards, uh, the the we had uh, a film which was in. Uh, um, it was nominated in the last uh, few films, uh, which was in our student uh, competition. So um, um, that shows uh, the, the level of uh, student films that uh, you find them bo in both competitions, in both in the national and student. So that, that's, that's that. Um, uh, the other thing is, is that... Um, um, obviously, uh, short films have survived the pandemic, uh, COVID. Uh, we saw a lot of uh, filmmakers who uh, were ma making uh, feature films, went back and did uh, short films this year. Uh, and and uh, we saw a lot of uh, help in uh, Greece for short films. I mean, we... Uh, the production has increased uh, the last year. And obviously because uh, short film um, survived because uh, for many reasons, obvious reasons. Uh, but uh, we as a festival, uh, we always believed that uh, uh, the short film format is, is, is something unique, is a unique artistic expression. And uh, obviously it's not only for the beginners or to to or a, a path to feature films, whatever. Um, so so yeah, uh, as a festival, uh, uh, we we really believe in this generation of filmmakers in uh, Greece, and I'm talking about the national competition, and uh, we really feel uh, uh, the uh, the urge and uh, the responsibility to carry through uh, and help them and uh, educate uh, the new generation um, coming from uh, filmmakers who been there and done that. Uh, and we prove that on a daily basis. We will give a lot of uh, attention to education, uh, like we start in a lab in, uh, this weekend. And uh, with Varvara, we, we're planning a lot of uh, educational uh, programs and a digital platform uh, with content, educational content and master classes. Uh, we started last year our um, um, path to, uh, to bring uh, the best uh, people from around the world inviting Pavel Pavlikovsky, who will help us again this year, and also uh, with people who not only are good filmmakers or awarded, but uh, also they've got uh, the personality and, this, and uh, the heart uh, to come and give something special. Um, we also believe that uh, filmmaking can be a therapist in this uh, really bad uh, uh, time. Uh, and uh, we, we really believe that uh, cinema will survive eventually uh, together uh, with the short films, uh, all cinema industry somehow will raise uh, from the silence because we have a silence. If you go to every single cinema, uh, you'll find them empty at the moment. Uh, and that's a, a, a really sort of um, a thing that I don't want to see anymore, you know. Um, so as for the festival, uh, we move on, you know. We, we're looking for uh, fresh ideas and uh, uh, we will give a voice to uh, people who... Um, you know, uh, open up uh, the team. And uh, like uh, Jorgos was saying, uh, I'm very excited to, to meet and work with his uh, team of uh, eight cinephiles, young cinephiles from Athens. Uh, that sounds great, you know. 
Okay, we could say that um, this period, this um, dark period, could be an opportunity for the short film in many ways. We can see the, the, the glass filled, <laughs> semi filled, and not semi empty. Um, I think we could uh, finish with an optimistic view about the short film. Sophia, if you have any other comments to make. I, I would like to remind that uh, the festival this year will uh, take place in September from 12 to 18th. Uh, the call for entry for the two programs, the international and the student international are open. You can find us on the film freeway and you're uh, more than welcome to, to send your uh, new films. Um, I think it's okay. I, I, I don't want to comment anything more. Would you? Thank you. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bonjour. <laughs>